Hello, and welcome to Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. All right, so today's video uh, is a kind of impromptu, but kind of meant to be, I guess. Um, I ordered some uh, plants for my aquarium. I know, another plant video. Uh, hopefully this channel won't be all about plants and gardening, but I guess that's going to be a majority of it. Anyway, um, I ordered some uh, aquarium plants from, uh, I think it's pronounced Boost Plants. Let me let's see if I can show you the... Ah, I can't see the logo. Anyway, uh, I'll see if I can put a caption or something. Okay, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, we'll see. Um, anyway, so I ordered some plants for both my 75 gallon and my 10 gallon aquarium. Um, I know I've mentioned my aquariums a couple of times, but I haven't really uh, shown anything. Uh, kind of a reason for that, some of them kind of, but uh, I'll... Uh, show you what they both look like beforehand uh we'll unbox the plants or unpack the plants and by we i mean i me myself something um and uh, let me give you a quick look at all the aquariums there's only two why did i say all Alright, so here is my 75 gallon. Um, I've gone through a lot of trial and error. Uh, as you can see, I am overly populated with mollies and snails and uh, chainsword. Um, interesting story, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I started with four mollies. And now I have, I don't know, maybe 30. Um, I used to have mollies before. Uh, unfortunately, some of the ones have died off. And then I had to restock. And I started with four, again, like a fool. At that point, I had 80. Um, water parameters went bad and lost everything. Anyway, I've gone through a lot of different uh, plants different selections and everything uh, I know there's the glare but that's what 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 I'm dealing with uh, it's just gravel just uh, I think I actually used some kind of better gravel when I first set it up and I learned my lesson I'm never doing that again um, speaking of learning a lesson and never doing that again uh, well obviously I have pothos every aquarium should uh, yes I know my tanks dirty um, so I have two AquaClear 110s. Uh, both of these are biological only. I have forgone any sort of sponges or um, chem I never do chemical fil filtration, uh, but I don't do sponges anymore. I don't do intake sponges. I've gone through trial and error and all that, and I have found that just biological, these are bags this is one big bag of hydrogen. Uh, over here is some smaller bags of hydrogen and uh, some media that came in, I think, my 10 gallons filter. I can't really remember. Anyway, of course, another pothos. Um, and honestly, I mean, it's been running like this for a while. And I know the water is not crystal clear, but it's really good. I don't do water changes. Honestly, I like aquariums that are little to no maintenance. Um, primarily because I'm mostly lazy and forget things sometimes. But that's beside the point. Um, I just like to be able to set things up as natural as possible as many plants try to have a variety um, unlike this tank, which 
kind of got overgrown and then I cleared it out and now it's overgrown again and now I'm adding even more plants. But, you know, whatever. Uh, but anyway, uh, enough about the 75. Let's get on to the 10. Alright, and now I'm uh, going to show you my 10 gallon. Um, don't judge me too harshly, but then again, this is the internet kind of what it was made for um <laughs> this was a free tank given to me then i had to buy a stand and a light and a filter fish and plants set it up free kind of ended up being a bit more than i thought it would anyway and so it's been through multiple iterations same as the 75 i've had different fish i've had different plants things have thrived things have died i've gone uh, i at one point i had a filter on here that ran straight for five years and i never did anything to it i didn't even do water changes i just topped up and then one day i was like oh i'll try to do things the right way because i watched some videos on youtube it was a mistake um, once you start messing with the water parameters, it is difficult to get them back where you need them to be. And here's a perfect example. All right, introducing the green tank of whatever the hell's going on with this. Uh, it actually had been nice and clear, similar to the quality of the 75. And then it went green. Um, I added a couple of plants. There's, of course, snails. Let's see some ram's horns. I like ram's horn because they breed. And, uh, yes, I know, again, the tank is dirty. Um, uh, this is an Aqua Clear 30 or 50. I can't remember. Um, if I find out, I'll post it. Uh, here's just a bag of, again, just biological. I don't do anything special. I have some pothos. Uh, it doesn't like to grow above. It likes to grow behind and to the side here. It's not exactly how I would like for it to grow. Uh, again, water quality is not the best. Um, little pieces of plant that had broken off and whatnot that is well, if you can barely see it there that is a nubius something kind kind of sounds like a nubius coffee or something like that anyway i don't know i was at a plant at a, uh, a fish place and grabbed these i wasn't even, i bought Two of these, two Amazon swords, and two Java ferns. Um, the one in the 75, the Amazon sword didn't do. The Amazon sword in here, even though it's back in there somewhere, can't see it, obviously. Uh, it did okay. The Nubius did okay. But if you can see just a little bit right there, Java fern didn't really do well. So anyway... Uh, instead of, you know, changing out the water and doing all that. Um, oh, and I have scuds. I know that sounds kind of like an infestation of something, but... Or a thing you need an ointment for. Uh, but it's not. Uh, they are little, basically, little tiny shrimp. Uh, they're great feeder food. I have one molly in here. It's the best way to not have overpopulation when you just have one. Um, anyway, uh, it's a basically a live fish food. Uh... I don't know how I got them. They just kind of appeared in the tank. I hoped they were good, found out they were good, and then I transferred them to the other tank. Uh, and then I transferred a few times over to the 75, and then this tank started to crash, so maybe there's something to that, and I'm waiting for it to cool off because I'm in Houston and it's over 100 degrees. So I'm not ordering those at the moment. Uh, it's currently like mid-September, so it's still over 100 degrees. Uh, anyway. So that was the 10-gallon. 
and uh, let's go look at the plants and see what we got or what I got and uh, we'll go from there and see if we can add some plants to I keep saying we <laughs> me and my multiple personalities <laughs> anyway um I'll add the plants and uh, see if that helps the 10 gallon helps 75 even more here we go So, uh, back over here, and, uh, let's, I mean, I've already checked, I've already opened the box to make sure things were okay, and, um, they kind of took a little longer in transit than I, they really needed to, um, and with the heat, so, that's actually why I'm filming this pretty much as soon as they got here, uh, well, as soon as I got home, uh, wasn't planning on doing it today. Uh, you know. Was it, uh... Ah, yeah. Best laid plans of mice. Men have nothing to do with it. Um, I think I've said that before. I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyway, let's look at the plants. Plants! Alright. You can see this one, boost plant. Uh, I'll try tagging them in the video if I can. This is water lettuce. Water lettuce. Um, it's just one. It's halfway decent. I've actually had this before, and they grew really well. So I'm hoping it it does okay. Here is some red root floaters. These are supposed to be really good. I've also seen a couple of videos on uh, Dustin's Fish Tanks. Uh, another good channel. Uh, go check that out if you haven't. Um, these are really good. First off, they multiply quickly. Uh, they're not as bad as duckweed. They actually serve a bit more of a purpose. So, when your tank... From my understanding, when your the nitrates are too low, they turn red. So basically, if you don't have excess nutrients, they're red. And when they, when you do have excess nutrients, they're green. So it's kind of a natural gauge of how your tank's doing. Um, and hopefully these will help take care of the greening of the tin gallon. All right, and I also bought, see if we can read this here, Micro Chain Sword. I bought five packages of it. Um, so again, the 75 gallon has Chain Sword, which I made the mistake of buying because those get about four feet tall. And when you only have a two, foot, two, two and a half foot tall tank, uh, they kind of grow everywhere. I really wanted more of a carpeting plant. I've tried these before. Sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't. Then things went wrong and I started over. But then again, that's the aquarium hobby. Uh, just take these out here real quick. Most of them are fairly decent. They're all, of course, in, in contained little, little pots. Uh, they're just basically clumps of grass. Basically, you end up giving your fish tank a lawn. My goal here is to put about three of these in the 10 gallon and only two of them in the 75 because I already have so much uh, big chain sword, re regular chain sword. Uh, some of these are in a, I'll say an interesting condition, but I can't, I'll be honest, this is the first time I've bought plants from Boost Plants. Um, so this is also kind of a, first impressions of the company uh i like them i just think the shipping should especially in the heat they should insist on a little bit faster or that should be the only option i should say um i don't really like having to pay extra for faster shipping because some of the places you get aquarium plants charge a ridiculous amount for shipping uh but that's beside the point um but again i can't really blame them for the fact that i ordered 
aquarium plants in the middle of summer in Houston. And it's, you know, over triple digits for like more than a month. So it's not really their fault if they're a little melted. Um, all right. This one is... I believe this is Java Fern. Even though it doesn't say it on the package. Uh, it's Java Fern. Uh, so I'm going to put... I think I bought two of those. Yes. And I am going to put... Let's see. See that? Yep, there we go. Uh, I'm going to put... One of those in the 10 gallon, and then one of those in the 75. And, uh, though the one in the 75 is growing, actually checking it right now. Yes, it is still growing. So I may put both of these in the 10. It all kind of varies. Um, and then this is Amazon's sword, I believe. Uh, they're looking a little yellow, but again, I can't really, uh, can't really, uh, blame them for heat exposure. It's kind of, kind of my bad on that. But anyway, all the, the plants, and, uh, so that, that, that's the, uh, the hall of plants there. The collection, collection of plants, something. Anyway, and uh, let's try and get these somewhat planted. Uh, like I said, I'm plan is as at, at the moment the water lettuce, the water lettuce, and some of the red root floaters are going to go in the seventy five. The other red root floaters are going to go in the ten. Um, that primarily being because just in case the tin is in a condition that it can't support them, I want to make sure they can actually grow. And I can always harvest the excess and put in the 10 gallon. Um, three of the five micro chain swords are going to go in the 75. No, reverse that. Three of the five are going to go in the 10. Two are going to go in the 75. One each of the java fern one's going to go in the 10 one's going to go in the 75 or i may put both in the 10 i haven't fully decided same thing with amazon sword um the amazon sword that i put in the 75 before didn't make it the one in the 10 did okay so i may put two of the amazon swords in the 75 and one in the 10 just trying to you know basically the whole goal of this is to get it to where I have plants growing that I can then harvest and swap back and forth and eventually another tank. Again, future project, a future video idea. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Alright, so here is the first micro chain sword. Focus. I can't get it to focus. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a... Micro chain sword. Um, I'm gonna put these in real quick. And, uh, then show you, I guess, what it looks like once I get all the plants in, so. Uh, it's not really gonna be visible as to what I'm doing, but, again, it's what I got. Can you see me? I don't want to stick my head in the fish tank, but uh, probably just do it fast forward through all this montage, whatever, just to make it go a little faster for y'all. Not for me. Alright. That actually came out a heck of a lot easier. Alright, but what is, oh my god, what is all that? I don't know if I want to put all that in the tank. Okay. Alright. So I cleaned off a lot of the gunk. Um, not really sure what all that was. Some people probably say it's okay to put that in the tank. I have before. 
It varies. Here's the next one, and I guess as an experiment, we'll uh, leave all the stuff that's on it. Maybe that'll help hold it all together. Or may backfire on me. We'll find out. Or I'll find out, then I'll let you know. Or something. Here is uh, some java fern, and there was no uh, needing to worry about the stuff that was around that one, because that one just came right out. Hopefully it was supposed to. Duckweed. Try to do this without knocking the camera over. All right. That gives me a little bit more room to work with. All right. Let's see if we can... Uh, One of these. Hunter over there. I just got my shirt all wet. And Amazon sword. And the water lilas. That just goes bloop, right like that. And see, you can see it. Alright, so into here is the red root floaters. I'm just going to grab a few and stick them in. I don't know if that's uh, how that's supposed to go, but that's why I did it. All right, so that was uh, all the plants put in the 75. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick video, uh, look at it. Of course, the water's a bit murky, and uh, then I'll go do the tin. All right, if uh, you can tell a the difference, there's a micro chain sword. There's a micro chain sword over there, and uh, there's an Amazon sword. And there's another uh, the Java fern. So of course it got all got all murky. Uh, water lettuce and some red roof floaters. And now I got to put the lid back on, and then uh, I'll go take care of the tin. There's a look at it as of right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'll put up the plants in the 10 gallon and uh, not that it's gonna be much different visibility wise but they will be in there and that's what matters it's a micro chain sword another micro chain sword I can't really see where I'm putting this one, so I'm just kind of sticking my arm in the tank and hoping for the best. Don't know what that was. Something I planted before. Ah! I bumped the camera! Oh, uh... That was another micro chain sword. Ooh, about dropped the regular floaters. That one is out. Java fern. Yeah, 
Amazon sword. Amazon sword. And last but not least, the last of the red root floaters. Alright, so that was all the plants into the 10-gallon. Um, like I said, you can't really tell much at the moment because of the greenery. Um, but here's a look. So you can tell there's more plants in there. There's some way back in there that you can't see. The red root floaters. Uh, that's an old chain sword, and that's some old bits of Anubius. Um, but anyway, that's the ten gallon. All right, so that was uh, me adding some plants to my aquariums. Um, we'll see how it goes, and uh, hopefully I grow enough that I can propagate them and have more and or they grow and propagate on their own that would also be really good and uh well I mean technically they have to grow and propagate on their own for me to be able to propagate the extra but regardless um yeah thanks for watching pie be smart stay safe and have fun